<laughs> okay, so I was a little late this morning. Well, I was actually on time. I had the coffee made. I had everything in place. I did everything well ahead of time. I went out for my speed walk in time, but we're doing like a different video thing today. And so there are a few kind of complications. So I was on the phone with Carlos, my brander, filmer, videographer, and, 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 and I didn't get into the shower till really late. Now, I just want you to know that Gary Kroger and I have been Facebook friends for some time. And we've really? been talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in my world, that's some time because things don't last very long. But so, so I've been so I've been working on him for a long time. To come. He lives in Iowa. He lives in Cedar Falls, Iowa. And I have been working on him to come and read for us. And so he finally came. And, you know, I wanted to meet him because we've been making the funny on the Facebook. And so I was really looking forward to meeting him and. He arrives, and what am I wearing, ladies? Yoga. <laughs> I'm in my room. My hair is right from the towel, soaking wet. I looked like shit. A 56-year-old woman is not supposed to be seen undone. <laughs> you know, I, I heard. I heard. I heard that. I heard that. Um, uh, wait, who is it? That Goldie Hawn has never been completely naked in front of Kurt Russell. These Come on. They, they, have been yeah. to, they have been together for 30 years, and I have heard that at least there's a piece of something something at all times. I don't believe it. Well, I hope it's not true. She came to see the Dalai Lama, and she's, she's like wearing almost nothing. This almost nothing. <laughs> the Dalai Lama has actually I've seen <laughs> I bet it's a beautiful sight. I love it. Well, I love it. Well, you know, I, I, I don't like to think that that's true. And, and I really don't believe that because if we can't look at each other as we are and see the beauty from within, we're absolutely normal. But that's beside the point. And, 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 oh, and speaking of which, so last night, I'm cleaning it as is my want to do before you guys come. And yeah, it's like 10 o'clock at night and I haven't started on the kitchen yet and the lights go out. Blackness, blackout. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do, what do I do? And I can't, and I'm like, what if the lights don't come back on? <laughs> and you know, all I could think about was, I will not be able to blow dry my hair. <laughs> because I thought, I can, we can do this without lights, right? We, I mean, Gertrude Stein, they did it with candles probably. Well, I mean, and, and then I thought, Gertrude Stein didn't blow dry her hair, but then I thought about it. <laughs> so, you know, that wouldn't be a good thing. So, okay, so, okay, this is Women Who Write. And for those of you who are new, we're not all women and we don't all write. <laughs> that's the big tag. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay, but now here's, it's a crap name. That's the problem. We need to write a crap name. It's not descriptive. But the thing is, I can't change the name now. No. This is three and a half years. Mm -hmm. People know who we are. We're famous. <laughs> In my delusional thing. I'm gonna, uh, but the thing is that now that I said, we're not all women and we don't all write. Two people invited men to come today. And I had to explain. No, because it used to say, and the men who serve us. Right. <laughs> and only the men who serve us may, may join us. So welcome. So now I have, to, I, have to, I have to have a disclaimer on my disclaimer. Speaking of disclaimers. Hi, Gina. Turn off. Everybody, everybody, I don't trust you. I, I, you know, I came into this with a leap of faith. I trusted you people. You let me down, month after month after month. Take out, take out the cell phones, ladies. Cell phones out. Everybody show me that you're turning off the volume on your cell phone. There's a $20 fine on your cell phone. Oh, a $20 fine. I could use the fine. Don't turn them off. Turn off your cell phones, please. Also, while we're doing this, I, by being here, you are giving me permission to video you, to put you up on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. I'm going to hey, exploit to Vicky. Oh, I like it. I am going to put you guys everywhere. So if you don't want to be everywhere, you have to, there's the door. No, don't leave. Um, I love you. Don't Not match me. So, huh? Not on match. Huh? Yeah. That's the Joanne thing. I don't really talk like that. I really don't. Sometimes. So, what? 
I said not on matchmaker. That's not on match. I don't even know what that is. I don't do those things. That's why I don't date. But anyway, so okay. So don't hurt yourself. Don't lose anything. Don't mm -hmm. steal. Don't steal anything. And don't go into my drawers, please. Oh, come on. Yes, go last month. Yes, somebody went into my drawers. So no going into my drawers. Except maybe these, but that's a whole other thing. And they're not drawers. They're it's a little tiny thing. I call it a thumb. To me, thumbs are things you put on your feet. I don't know. So anyway, so just behave yourselves. Take care of yourself because I don't accept any liability for theft, hurt, anything. So don't do those things. I got I got rear-ended again, and not fun, not the good way. Less average. Yeah. Anyway, and she's not, and she's running away. So hit and run. Oh. Anyway, that why am I bringing that? I don't know. Because drawers, rear ends, drawers, rear ends. Yeah. Huh? Drawers, rear ends. Drawers, rear ends. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So here's the thing. So two weeks ago, because I love you guys and I want to bring you the best in entertainment, I went to the Skirball Ball to see David Steinberg. Moderated discussion between Dave Barry and Alan Zweibel. Awesome. All right. I just want to say, Suzanne was there too. This is one of the funniest books. I, I, I don't write laugh out loud, but I do laugh out loud. And every night before I go to bed, it's, it's written, they, they, they um, alternate a chapters. So, and they're in character. So one chapter is Dave Barry writing, and the, the next one is Alan Zweibel. Two of the funniest men I have. Alan Zweibel, for those of you who don't know, was an original writer on Saturday Night Live. We have a lot of a lot of synchronicity today, and um, he wrote all the Gilda Radner stuff for Zan and Dana. He wrote the John Belushi stuff. He wrote Billy Crystal's One Man Show, Martin Short's One Man Show, uh, La uh, Larry Sanders, Curb Your Enthusiasm. I mean, he's he's written everything funny. Is is Alan Zweibel? Dave Barry, Pulitzer Prize winning humorist. Alan's going to be here in March. Uh, a commitments permitting, and Dave will come the next time he's in L.A. Anyway, so I am reading this, and every night I read one of Alan's chapters and one of Dave's chapters, and I am tell I wake my kids up. I'm laughing so hard I wake my kids up. This is not right. Hysterical book. So, we're, we're gonna, it's going to be wonderful. I, I wish we could get them here together. Maybe luck will have it that way. Okay, so, I go to the scribble because Paul Levine, the divine Paul Levine, who, who read for us last year, is best friends with Dave Barry. So he, so we go to the square ball and we have like, you know, we're sitting right up front and we're going to go out to dinner with them afterwards. Oh my God! And um, and sitting to my right is Larry David, <laughs> and sitting next to Larry David is Eric Idle, and Lorraine Newman's sitting right there. You know, Lorraine's one of us, and she's she's been here, and, and Suzanne is there, and, and and Larry Miller is sitting next to Larry David. Now, <laughs> I have been trying to get Larry David. I won't, I, you know, Albert, Albert Brooks, we yeah. want you, and we talk about this all the time, but it started with Larry David. So, two years ago, Jeff Garland was here, and he read for us. And so, he read for us. Now, this is my fantasy from my pilot pitch. Tell me what you think. I kind of weaved it. So, Jeff comes to read, and he goes back to the set, to Curb, and he says to Larry, oh, I did this reading yesterday, it was really great. You know, the reading was good, but the brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Makes brownies. Okay, so now, two months later, true, Susie Esman reads in New York. And so she goes back to the set and she says, Larry, I did this reading and it was fun, but the brownies, this Vicky makes, oh my God. Okay, true part two, part three. So now I go to a memorial service because one of us passed away, very sad. And the whole thing is filled with industry people. And Larry David is sitting next to Carol Liefer, who had just done Women Who Write the month before. And I'm like, this is it. This is my job. I'm, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to meet Larry. I'm going to tell him he has to come. This is ah! <laughs> So I go down, and I start to walk, and Carol smiles at me. And Larry gives me the look of death, like, you, like you don't you dare come near me, you. I mean, because, you know, if you watch Curve, you know this about Larry. You know, he's just a cranky guy. So I am not easily intimidated, but he scares the crap out of me, and I don't go. I don't go. So now, cut to my fantasy. So now, later, there's the buffet, and Carol and Larry go up to the buffet, and they're taking food. And Larry 
takes a brownie and takes a bite and he says, wow, this is a really good brownie. And Carol says, not bad, but you should taste that Vicki Abelson's brownie. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so now I have a new part to my story because now I see Larry David last week and now it's two years later. And I see, I'm looking at him, and again, he gives me that look of death. Like, Don't you dare come over to me. And again, I'm intimidated. Well, now the reading, the, the thing starts, and I happen to glance over a couple of times, and Larry's looking at me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, he wants me. <laughs> you know, I'm hot shit. Yeah. Meanwhile, little do I know, because I speak to Larry, Larry Miller later, and they were together. No, Larry was going... Is that Vicki Abelson, the one that makes the brownies? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And I've seen an episode here. So, and you know, after, after that, you know, Lynn Stewart, one of our regulars, not here today because she's auditioning, she brought the signed Jeff Garland book to Phil Rosenthal. I told this story a couple months ago. And, and she said, oh, women who write, and she makes great bounties. And she said, oh, I have a book. And so then, <laughs> so then Phil comes and reads for us, and he's fabulous. And then he invites me to his house. And I go, and I bring my brownies, right? Unfortunately, I'm tired because I'm menopausal, and I don't sleep. So I make the brownies. I forget to put the oil in. <laughs> so I get, I get there, and Phil is telling everybody to try the brownies, and they suck! story of my life. You know, I try. So, you know, I, I fail, I make mistakes, I fuck up, but, you know, eventually they all come here. So one day, there will be Larry David in my living room, and there will be Albert Brooks. Right, ladies? And Gary Chandler. And Gary Chandler. Okay. Thank you. That's what you should write. That's what I should what? That's what you should write, what you just told us. Yep. Um, yep. I already did. It's <laughs> That's why I just taped it. <laughs> And it's called Hey Vicky. Is this where I and start then, and stop? We're going to stop. Why? Is this where I start and stop? Um, okay. No. Or do you just keep it going? Yeah, you can keep it going and then we'll cut it. Okay, so. All right. You can send it to oh. for menopausal brownies. I, my, my brownies. And you know, they, it starts with a box, but it ends with me. And let me tell you something. I, I get, I've told a million people how to do it. It's me and God. It's like women who write. It's like me and God. The brownies are me and God. I don't know what it is. but it's, and, and there's nothing in them like that because I'm sober. So I don't know. But it makes people high and crazy. And it's an aphrodisiac and all that stuff. It's crazy. There's, there's chocolate. And I can't eat chocolate because it gives me migraines. So it's a weird thing. But, okay, so I don't eat my own brownies. I know. Okay, so, all right. So now we're going to segue.